Tom Vassos is a professor and social media expert with an interest in social media and the Olympics. And, uh, Professor, welcome. How much different is the Olympic experience for viewers now than it was four years ago? Well, it's really night and day from four years ago. For example, on Twitter, we went from 6 million Twitter users up to 140 million now. On Facebook, there was 100 million at that point, which has grown to 900 million. So just a lot more people that are totally engaged in the whole social media movement. So is that a reflection of the popularity of Twitter or the, and social media in general? or a reflection of the growing popularity of the Olympics? I, I would say both, but now you're, you're seeing people actually get that level of engagement that they never had before, because research really shows people don't just want to look up the medal counts and things like that, but 20 to 30 percent of them actually want to get engaged in the conversation and talk about it and talk about their favorite athletes, etc. And that's a more powerful level of engagement than and, before. And so accessibility has a lot to do with it as well. Absolutely. If you look at it, fi you know, 5 billion phones around the world that can send and receive text message, 8 billion devices that can connect uh, up to the internet to learn about the Olympics. So you've got a lot more connectivity and people that can really in, in, engage in the conversation. Well, social media, of course, has its dangers. And two, uh, two uh, athletes, at least two athletes, uh, uh, were unwise enough to post some of their thoughts on uh, social media. They uh, pretty much undid their Olympic dreams, uh, those two athlete, uh, athletes uh, posting racist comments. Sure. There's been several examples of that. I mean, a couple of Australian swimmers posting photos on Facebook of them with shotguns getting, you know, getting in a lot of trouble. On a, another Australian swimmer getting in trouble over a racy photo posted on, on Facebook. Uh, a Greek uh, athlete getting kicked off the team because of racist comments uh, posted online. And probably one of the worst ones was the one about the Swiss soccer player uh, posting kind of threatening and racist type comments about the South Koreans. And so people are really getting in trouble over some of these comments. Imagine if you were the Olympics organizers kind of trying to contain the sun while there's these solar flares coming at you from all over the place that you really need to get a handle on. That's a good analogy. Yeah, it's also interesting, like uh, one sad case of, of Emily Seabom even suggesting that that her uh, you know passion with social media and involvement in it might have actually cost her the gold medal because she wasn't kind of tuning out of that side of it and you know when a thousand people tell you you're gonna win the gold you're gonna win the gold well you shouldn't be focusing on that you should be focusing on <laughs> knocking another 20th of yeah. a second off your uh, time. What are some examples of social media done right in these games? Well I would say any athlete that really treats the medium as it should be and that is a, a, a medium to talk to people to say how you feel but ones that are breaking the rules posting you know information about their corporate sponsors which is against the the IOC rules etc is probably not the way to go a good corporate example was Visa. They did a Facebook campaign where you could cheer for your favorite fan. Well, they had 28 million people cheering for their fans, cheering them on. And so it's that kind of engagement that can be really powerful that, that some corporations are latching on to. Only have a half a minute left. Uh, prominent social media these days. What's Olympic coverage going to be like in the future? Well, I think, you're, A, you're going to see a lot more of the same. But because of the whole move towards mo more mobile devices, you're going to see a lot more uh, action happening at the mobile phone level. There might be more things happening in, in simulated virtual environments, which would be kind of cool. Uh, the, uh, imagine an update to your Nike runner app where you could see where an Olympian's running to see if you could keep up with them or something like that. It's, <laughs> it's more of this direct engagement with the people that are actually involved in the Olympics. Fascinating times ahead and fascinating times we have these days until August 12th. The Olympics are going on right now. Uh, Tom Vassos, a professor and social media expert, thanks a lot for coming in to talk to us, Tom. Thank you.